Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. This is Emoji1 here on YouTube, the underscore impure over on Twitch, and today we are spawning into a Minecraft world. Welcome to Minecraft, the Potato King. So, as soon as we spawn in, we grab our little free chest, because I am a noob, except that I like free shit, and I cannot lie. After a bit of organizing and going through what we have and don't have and what we need, our first objective is clear. Find a village that we may reign over. We must be the king. We must lord over the people. And we must orchestrate them in a way that helps them grow and my pockets prosper. Along the way, I found a little cave entrance. I was explore thinking of exploring it, but then I saw a uh, spirited booper, and I decided, uh, fuck this shit, I'm out. So I started running. I'm running up a mountainside and looking back to see how many are chasing me. There were two! Two little abominations, ready to eat my flesh and suckle out all my juices. And I remembered I have an axe. So I went a bit of the old chop-chop on them. And I gathered their sweet, sweet silk that I'm going to need to use for bows or fishing rods down the line. So, I went back on my way looking for the infamous village. And then I found the inspiration hole. The inspiration hole said, you will not find a village, at least on your first venture. You must always keep looking. And when you do find them, you will be the best lord over them. So I listened to the advice of my good old friend, the uh, neighborhood creepy hole and I kept on heading out I broke some little flowers because I love a little of the old flowers to brighten up my place when I do find it I'm going to enjoy decorating a lot looking at the trees around me and the beautiful landscape in the distance I know that I will enjoy ruling this area it will be a beautiful land and I will work for conservation First, I take a dip into a swamp, just to swim around and see what happens. Along my swim, I viewed a little, little picky pig. But I said, fuck it, and kept swimming through. Then I saw some sheep and said, I'm going to steal your wool! So I promptly slaughtered the entire family and have a nice cozy bed to sleep in at night. I also took that sugar cane mostly because I'm going to want to set up a sugar cane farm as soon as I can. Though, I might forget about it. Then I killed up more sheep. Because you can never have too much mutton and too much delicious, delicious soft wool. I left that one alive. Need a witness for the, uh, for the upcoming uprising of sheep. And then I kept moving. Jumping up hills, trying to take in and survey my surroundings. I see not much except a little plateau. I saw a cow and said, ah, I got enough food for now. Don't need to kill the thing yet, but I kept moving. And uh, let me just say already, I did not find a village uh, easily. Or should I say, in this entire recording session, I never found a village. I looked like a motherfucker. Spent a good, I don't know, 30 minutes maybe looking before I said, ah, fuck it, and settled at the coolest place I found. I saw some sheep, but they didn't recognize me as their family slaughterer, so I kept on trucking. And on my way, I saw beautiful flowers everywhere. I was in a flower valley, and I was just thinking about taking it all the kinds I could find, but my inventory was a little cluttered, as it were. So I decided to wait until I find a place to settle before I steal all these beautiful flowers. Looking around, I realized I still haven't found a village, but I did find a river. And hopefully this river could lead me to a village. So I carefully walked down it, started swimming. Then I saw a pig. I said, fuck you pig, I'm out of here. On my way, I thought about uh, carving into the mountain, but I decided not yet. I don't think this will be a good place to set up shop. And I saw another cave. 
This one I did explore a tiny, tiny bit. Didn't find anything really useful. It was a small cave. So I just went through and went out to the other hole. But I did find this beautiful, convenient little staircase-esque opening. And looked at that beautiful little area. I basked in its glory and thought again, oh, this will be wonderful to rule over. Then I saw a llama. I wanted to pet it, but petting in this game equals hurting. So I just basked in its glory for a few moments before noticing the sun was setting. The wide open landscape was perfect for surveying. And then I fell, fell. It hurted. But I kept moving forward. Persevering as a good king should. No matter that I am a potato. Along my way, I found some horse friends. I could not tame them right now for I had not carrots nor a lead to bring them with me or a saddle. So I didn't waste my time and I promptly kept continuing on. I found a nice little place to lay my little head to bed and after digging and digging and digging I slepted despite waking up with a millipede in my mouth I decided to persevere on and continue looking for the village my people I shall lead to a new wondrous age the age of the impure I passed some sunflowers. I didn't like how they were looking at me, so I ran as fast as I could to the nearest forest. It may or may not have been a bad idea, but I punched some of them just to show them I was not to be trifled with. Though in the future, that may cause problems for me if they decide to team up with the sheep. In the forest, I found a lot of wood, some of it birch. But I didn't care. I kept on moving forward until I hit the ocean. Or at least sandy banks by a super large body of water that could be argued to be called the ocean. So, I set down my bed since it was almost evening again already. And I slept on that sandy beach. Why didn't I build some cover behind me? Why didn't I dig down like I had before? Because I didn't care and I was tired. So, I slept it. Upon waking up, I realized the best course of action to do was probably to build a boat and get the fuck out of there. So, I looked to the trees with malicious content. But first, I went for a little dip. I was starting to get a little funky from all this running around. And that's where I noticed it. A beautiful hole in the ground. The idiot I am, I thought, hey, I can't possibly die here. So I went under. I got some sea pickles. Fucking love sea pickles. Great source of light. But, uh, yeah, I started running out of air, and I was getting scared that I was gonna die and lose all my progress. As stupid as I am, my luck beat out my stupidity, and I survived. And I went back to that tree I was thinking about cutting down, and I gave it what fur. Beautiful tree, though. I should have, uh, stayed and tried to get some saplings for it, but I didn't. I just kept moving on in my beautiful boat after I finished, you know, disemboweling the hunk of wood. And then we set sail. I don't know what to name the boat, but let me assure you, it is a nice boat. I've been on cruises half as nice as this. No, I haven't. This is actually pretty shitty. But I started going around the large expanse of land. And I noticed, uh, I noticed pretty quick there were no villages still. So I may or may not have spent another 30 minutes just riding around, trying to find something of interest, all without having a way to cultivate food besides slaughtering poor innocent animals. Uh, but I kept going, like the absolute king I am. It was pretty boring, to be honest with you, just... There's a lot- I found tall mushrooms, though. Tall mushrooms have always been cool to me. If I knew how to make huge mushrooms near my house, I might do that in the future. I might Google it. I might not care. So, down the line, when I reached a swamp area, I ran my boat through a bunch of lily pads and accidentally collected a bunch. 
Didn't expect that to work, but it did. Now I have a bunch of lily pads for some reason, which I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. But I will use them. I owe that to the frogs that lost their homes, at least. I got into the opening of a river, and I got out of my boat just to see what the area was like. Saw a huge mushroom. Eh. Took some sugar cane. Eh. Looked like a decent enough area, but if there were no village, I wasn't really 100% on staying. Looking to my map, I saw there was nothing nearby. I saw a little uh, filly. I think that's a name for baby horses, right? A filly, a nilly filly, filly willy, whatever. Kept moving forward like the absolute king of all that is Minecraft. Uh, I'm not, I, I'm not the king of Minecraft, but I am the king of potatoes in Minecraft. And I sort of karate'd some chickens with an ax and asked me why they were looking at me funny. But in the distance, after that kill, I found it. A beautiful mountain with snow. I climbed up to the top of it. Not because uh, I wanted to live there, or because there was a village up there, but because it was a great place to survey. But uh, it was a bit of a bitch to climb. It really was. I don't know why I didn't just, like, I don't know, go around it. But I felt like climbing a mountain. After climbing it, I looked around. Still no fucking village, wouldn't you know? I, uh, I explored some. Got some stone so I could make a furnace for the fish I had. And I slept on top of that mountain. Brisk as it was, the warm flesh of my enemies, the sheep, kept me warm all night. Found a ravine nearby, jumped over it. It wasn't really uh, intense or cool or anything. It was just a little gap at the edge of it. And then I saw it. Another portal that was broken. I knew I have to stay in this area. Simply because it looks badass having a portal to hell at the bottom of my mountain. And if I ever do find a village, I will bring the people here. So that they may worship me and my portal to hell. As is tradition. But uh, first I smacked some dirt with my fish, Esteban, the cooked salmon. I, I, I didn't really name him Esteban. I didn't keep him. I fucking ate the bitch. I was hungry by the end of this. But I took some cool looking blocks from around it. I might put them back or rebuild a different pathway to it. Something that looks cool. I definitely took all those magma blocks because uh, down the line I'm going to want to use elevators to get to the top of my uh, esteemed mansion I'm gonna build at the top of this mountain but that's not for a while first I need to get the materials and I need to figure out what's going on with the village but that that's uh that's on my list you know on the list gonna do it maybe definitely not soon then after that I built a motherfucking stairway through the mountain like a man After I built my path through the mountain, I got to the roof and I saw some no good fucker duckeries were messing around my outside base. I gave them the old what for. One of them blew his load well before I could blow his. That sounds weird. Uh, then I killed a spider. Those fucking spickle spooglers. Then I began to look at my little bed shrine thing and I slept. And decided I was going to make a little impromptu temporary base. That will hold decently well until after I can get enough supplies to make the mansion I so deserve as king of this place. But first I set down some chests for all my stuffs. And it was nice. It was nice to not have to be weighed down by all this shit I've been carrying. You see that potato? A potato right in that chest. That's what we're going to build our empire on, baby. At one point, that's going to be our only food source that we accept. Because baked potatoes are God. Baked potatoes are life. And then we will make a village at this house of ours.
And we will make them all eat potatoes. Because we are a good king like that. Going back to collect some more snowballs after the uh, explosion incident. I yeeted one at the nearest mountain that was besides my own. It didn't get that far. But uh, I kind of had a little outline of my base. I got a nice little door. I got a bucket for starting a farm down the line. I don't know how well that's going to do though uh, on top of this mountain next to my little temp base. But I will try it. I also am experimenting with like uh, shaved wood logs. But for now, folks, I just got to say thank you all for joining me on this journey. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video. But before you go, please make sure to like and subscribe to MMOG1 on YouTube. And come join the fun over on Twitch, the underscore impure. See you there.